Everyone, welcome to Open at Microsoft. I'm Gwen and I'm here with Levin and we're going to talk about the amazing Blockman extension. So excited to dive in. All right, Levin, I know you have an awesome extension to show us today, Blockman. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, sure. Um, so this extension I wrote about three years ago. Uh, it is a VS Code extension for us for developers. It's basically a visual helper for developers uh, because it um, helps us, helps our eyes to, you know, easily focus on uh, code blocks and easily understand code structure more easily, uh, more quickly. Uh, I'll just, uh, you know, words are kind of uh, uh, difficult to describe it with words. Uh, I'll just um, uh, show you the very yeah, basic, perfect. very basic introduction of my uh, uh, Blockman extension. So let's see, this is a very simple before and after image. So uh, as you can see, this is just a normal classic view of uh, VS Code. And as you can see, um, what my extension does is instead of just uh, vertical lines, it tries to uh, it tries to basically render blocks, render rectangles. And even if even if it's not possible to render rectangles, it tries to change the shape and uh, do some uh, different shapes. So it it could be easy for our eyes. Uh, to focus on certain blocks and understand structure. Uh, yeah, um, that's that's the idea. I think um, when I was creating uh, when I was creating the Blockman extension, I thought that uh, basically I was very very young in this profession in this software programming, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I was yeah basically I was very junior and it was very strange for me that I was always searching for brackets. Where is, this, where is this opening bracket? Where is this closing bracket? Always searching for brackets and brackets with my eyes, and my eyes got tired, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I was always thinking that there could be some kind of easier way. Maybe, maybe why not just uh, uh, draw the entire area so my eyes could just focus on that area? It would be very natural. Or I thought, I think so. So... Uh, I thought it would be available somewhere in VS Code extensions. There were thousands of extensions of VS Code, right? Mm -hmm. but I could not find anything. I could not find uh, on other software, other IDEs as well. I could not find anything in VS Code settings. So um, after many research and thinking, <laughs> uh, thinking, I decided to try to try to start the journey of creating this extension myself. Uh, so. Uh, it it was a pretty big journey. It, it took about you know six months to build it. It was very difficult. The VS Code extension API had some uh, difficult uh, technical issues, uh, difficulty right. documentation had a little bit difficulties, and yeah, I had um, so many uh, uh, things to solve uh, because it's it's not just uh, render some blocks. It it needed some very uh, some, some kind of complex. I know some kind of complex algorithms to to correctly render these uh, nested blocks. It was a pretty big challenge for for me, as especially because I was very junior and very starter in this in the software development world. Was this the first extension you've ever written? Yeah, basically, it was my first big solo project. Before that, wow, uh, I I had only only you know. Uh, three months of my uh, working experience, I was basically at my first job, and yeah, that's why um, I I was not a classic a classic programmer guy. I, mm -hmm. I was very new to this, and uh, because uh, I uh, I imagined the new programming world with some easier things, uh, easier uh, way to work. Yeah, that's why it was strange for me, and it was. Kind of difficult for me to to look at these brackets to to you know focus my eyes with brackets and also also um, indentation right Python and some indent based languages have indentation mm -hmm. and it's uh, kind of probably easier for our eyes but 
I think um, blockifying actually blockchain also helps our eyes even for Python uh, code and YAML and so indent, any kind of indent uh, based languages. Right. But the, the indent term, but the languages is another topic which I will talk about. It's it's basically uh, the biggest pain for blockchain. Uh, I, I will talk about it soon. Uh, I, I was just trying to maybe I could um, show you the an example of Python. Yeah, that's it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he have the Python code with blockified code. So um, I think um, many people uh, would find it easier for their eyes to focus and to understand structure and to work easier on the code. And yeah, that's also true that um, some people are very used to the brackets and uh, very used to classic view that they mm -hmm. find it uh, too like overloaded uh, view or too distracting for their eyes and they, they prefer classic view. And that's okay. Yeah, that's totally fine. But uh, also many people, probably hundreds, thousands, thousands of people, uh, you know, uh, find this um, extension very useful and very they they love it so much i uh, for for months and for many years i met not many years about three years i received uh, many lovely and amazing comments and from the community yeah i i was very happy about that and basically uh, i mentioned community basically mm -hmm. uh, blockman is built uh, not just by me but community community helped me so much uh, the, the some features, some very cool features, uh, I implemented uh, because of community. Community, uh, you know, um, suggested and uh, gave me some cool ideas, some cool requests, uh, some cool feedback. And for example, the focus feature, I I, well, I didn't have thought about this feature when you, when you click on um, the highlight. Yeah, the oh, when you click inside a block, it highlights. Mm -hmm with different color yeah, and I great. didn't have a thought about it I, I was just trying to build uh, just uh, to blockify entire file and I, I didn't thought I, I didn't think about uh, some dynamic features and when I when I uh, heard this uh, feedback and suggestion of this focus feature I was very excited because it was very cool and I tried to build it and yeah it's uh, you can see how it works yeah uh, is there so, a, is there a list of uh, supported languages? Uh, sure, sure. Um, here we uh, go. Uh, just just a second. Um, ah, perfect. Go. Okay. Supported, supported languages are so many, but mm. we have still still a problem about it. Well, let's um, uh, first just uh, you know um, list some languages uh, we have non-indentation-based languages and indentation-based languages, right? Mm -hmm. For indentation-based languages, currently it supports only Python and YAM. And for non-indentation-based languages, basically, uh, it is uh, Blockman supports basically all popular uh, language languages, mm -hmm. which includes JavaScript, TypeScript, C, C++, C Sharp, C Sharp from Java, Ruby, PHP, even PowerShell script, SQL, HTML, uh, yeah, so many languages, CSS, SCSS, and so on. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I'll I'll, I'll uh, talk about it. Uh, basically, what's the issue with languages? The issue is um, parsing, tokenization. Uh, the problem is that right now, uh, VS Code extension API doesn't give extensions access to the native tokenization, native uh, AST tokens, abstract mm -hmm. syntax tokens. So basically, I had to uh, you know, find the third-party libraries for analyzing, for parsing and tokenizing these languages. Uh, and they are pretty, pretty, you know, precise. And mostly, most of the time, it is uh, the analyzation is 100% correct and it works fine. Mm -hmm. But the problem is that uh, maybe in the future some languages will get updated, and right. uh, they they will need to update also these third-party libraries. Also, maybe um, 
Yeah. Also, a big thing is the optimization. Uh, optimization is uh, currently a very big challenge for Blockman because probably the slowest working language in Blockman is Python right now because somehow the third party library for Python is kind of uh, kind of slow or maybe maybe uh, my implementation is slow I don't know but it's uh, it feels like uh, for uh, for 500 you know if we have less than 500 lines of code Python uh, Python language uh, works fine in block mm-hmm. and it feels fast but after that after 500 lines it it starts to feel a bit slower uh, and uh, yeah, w- what I'm trying to say is that actually I have posted a feature request in um, VS Code uh, GitHub re- repo. Right. And, yeah, and I and I ask the VS Code team, you know, please you not know, give please access give to that. Yeah, that would be access. helpful. So this uh, AST to the AST native AST tokens mm-hmm. but they, actually there they we were a big conversation about it uh, later I can leak this conversation so the thing is that they I think as, as I understand with the conversation I think the VS Code team find it too difficult or too unsafe to expose those tokens interesting uh, yeah but uh, I think somehow it's possible and uh, I want to say again um, in this meeting maybe maybe i can do it please microsoft uh, <laughs> uh, if the team is listening hopefully yeah, they'll look into look into it AST tokens because it will you know it will open a huge door for such kind of extensions uh, so because if the native host already does the analyzation organization mm-hmm. why on earth should i you know do it twice right should i analyze it again because it's already analyzed, and I can I could just you know use this one hundred percent correct analyzed tokens to to render my blocks. Right. Uh, you mentioned you mentioned um, community. If if people want to keep up with the project or help you uh, work on any implementations, where can they go? Uh, they can just visit my uh, GitHub repo of Blockman. I, mm-hmm. I just showed it to you right now. This is uh, this called Blockman repo. And here you can see um, there are already so many issues. Uh, many of them are already closed, fixed, and mm-hmm. uh, removed. Some, some of them are open. And most of them are basically, uh, uh, yeah, basically um, you know, connected to the problem of unable to access native, uh, native tokens. That's the idea. And, and also some... Uh, some little um, rendering, a little bit, re- little rendering issues, uh, because um, right now Blockman, you know, Blockman renders um, blocks with simple HTML div boxes. Well, basically, technically, they are not div boxes. They are before and after H- uh, CSS before and after boxes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, but yeah, basically, they behave. Absolutely the same as simple div boxes, right? And the thing is that div boxes are not very flexible uh, to to you know draw some complex shapes, to draw some area and blocks of the some code blocks to focus. Uh, so that's why I was you not know, trying to implement uh, SVG rendering, SVG elements, but this code uh, extension. Extension building process, building the uh, API seems kind of probably doesn't support SVG or it's too difficult to render SVG, probably because SVG basically has some safety and uh, security issues, sure, but maybe we right. could uh, implement a sanitizer function to, to remove any, any scripts, maybe. I don't could know. be. Yeah. Could be. Yeah. Well, if anyone's watching this and they want to help out uh, work on this extension, be sure to check out this GitHub repo. Levin, thank you so much for joining us on uh, on here at Open at Microsoft. Uh, it's been awesome yeah, to, to learn a little bit more about the extension. Yeah. Thanks so much. Thank you.